This video will demonstrate how to define a Ctrl M job to send a request to a SOAP web service. We've been asked to create a job that requests a currency conversion rate from a SOAP web service. And we've been given the following service details. The WSDL location, which in this case is a URL, but it could also be a file. The operation that we need to call, which is named conversion rate and the input parameters we need to give that operation which is the from currency and to currency. So I've copied the details that I've been given into a notepad file and the first thing I'm going to do now is define a connection profile for this web service. So in the CCM I'll right click my web services CM and select connection profile management. Add a new profile I'll just call it currency. Now you can see it asks me for the web service source. A local file system I'll select if I've got a WSDL file. In this case I've got a URL so I'll need to select web service URL and copy and paste my URL in there. And that's basically it. Click OK. So let's validate this account to see if it works. And that worked. So now we can go on to define our job. Now in the console and workload automation GUI, I've opened the planning domain and I'll create a new web service job by dragging it onto my folder. Let's double click it to open it. Well, I'll fill in some of the basic details and then for a web services job we'll, the first thing we'll need to do is select the connection profile I just created. So there it is. I'll need to select the WSDL, there's only one here. And then the service, this particular service has a couple of different ones. We need, we'll need to select the SOAP service in this case. So select that. And the operation which is conversion rate. Next I'll select the input parameters by clicking load and you can see it's got two mandatory parameters so I'll need to load them both and then I can specify the values for these services here and I can load an output parameter which will contain the result of the conversion and I can give that a auto edit variable name in which the result will be stored. And that's it. So let's click OK and order the job. That's done. Let's go to the monitoring screen. You can see it's already running and it just finished. Let's have a look at the output. The status is 200, which means OK for web services job. It's an HTTP status code. And we can see the result. We'll get a, an XML re uh, response, which contains the conversion rate result, which in this case is the value of the today's currency conversion between dollars and euros. And that's it. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.